everybody. Um, I'm out here in my new backyard. Can't really see things. Um, <laughs> I'm in a gazebo. I feel like I have to kind of talk quietly because I have neighbors now. It's kind of weird <laughs> just to have people around me. But um, I wanted to sit out here to really get into connection with gratitude. <clears throat> gratitude. Because even though the place where I am right now is, is a lot different than where I've come from, my other house and my property and all the things that we did there, even though this place is quite different and there's a lot of work that's going to need to go into this place, I am flowing in the energy of gratitude. Gratitude is so incredibly high vibration and it's high vibration in a magnetic way. Magnetic meaning the more we are grateful, running the energy of gratitude in the physical body, the more that we do that, the more we attract into our lives conditions, experiences, relationships, opportunities, networking, all, all those things are added unto us which give us further reason to be grateful. So gratitude begets gratitude begets gratitude. And so it's important really to take time, even in a situation that you might not find necessarily comfortable or optimum and find the joy in it. Find the joy in it. See, in this phase of my life where I've moved to the city where we can hear a plane now and dogs barking and people talking, um, it would be easy for me to go one way with that and to think, well, this is not necessarily what I wanted. This is not necessarily what I had envisioned for myself. But instead, what I'm doing and declaring for you is I'm choosing to get really excited about it. I'm choosing to get curious about what I can do with the new opportunity. Where work needs to be done, a transformation is possible, right? And so looking at just this house, it's just this example of the house. There's a pool over there. You know, there's a big garden space back there. My dog's over there. I've got, you know, it's a nice house back there. But it needs a lot of work. And I could get really stuck in all of that. And I could say, oh my God, this needs so much work. 1972, Barnaby Jones. And I could get upset or I can get really excited with the possibility of it all. With, well, what do I want to make out of it? What do I want to create? Remember, I made that video just a few days ago about how powerful it is to be creative and to be in the energy of creation because that is where creator dwells. Creator being source energy. Creator being that energy we would call God energy, getting creative, even about things like this, like, well, how am I going to fix this lawn? We've got some red ants here. We've got some stickers and some patches. How can I make this green and lush and sustainable and beautiful? How can I create a habitat here for animals and birds? And how can I make this a really special space for my animals? How can I make that pool even bigger? <laughs> it's kind of a small pool. Maybe get a deck, like, what can I build? What can I design? How can I make it what I want it to be? What an opportunity, right? When you look at it that way. Now, sure, things like money need to take place and things like uh, labor need to happen, but that's just all part of being alive. Money is no thing. It's just an, it's just an energy. It flows to you or it flows from you, depending on whether you're repelling or attracting it. And so in my curiosity, see, in my adventuresome spirit and in my gladness and gratitude, as I sit beneath this gazebo that my father's grandfather built with his own two hands, when I feel all of that energy, that's how the funds come. That's how the contractors come, because you know, you gotta find a good one. That's how the ideas come and the inspiration comes. And so I'm grateful. Wow, I'm thinking about that man. His name was Sid. And he was a farmer. I remember him talking about World War II. I remember him talking about the only toy he had as a kid growing up in Pilot Point, Texas was a block of wood. And he'd play, play the heck out of that block of wood, just making it a car or he just made do. He, he had fun. He played. 
and what a hardworking person he was. And this was his property. And, you know, he got old, of course, um, thankfully, the, that's, that's the best outcome for us, right, is to, is to live long and to be healthy. But he lived into his late 80s. Every time I saw him, he's like, I'm waiting for the bus. When's that bus coming? Bus needs to pick me up. I'm out of here. Wanted to go home. But this is all his handiwork. That's the pool that he put in. That's the shed that he built. That's the patio back there that he built. And my husband, who's so strong and who resembles Sid in so many ways, tall, muscular, handy. Well, now he has a beautiful landscape to recreate his grandfather's vision. I'm getting a little emotional. And so for all those moments that I could get real stinky in my mind about <laughs> the dirt, the stickers, the 1972 Barnaby Jones, I also think about, wow, what a cool opportunity it is for my husband and what a cool place this is. The ancestral energy, the energy of family, and just the love that's here. And, and I want to build upon that. And so today I just stand in the gratitude of that. And I call more gratitude into my life. And I call the funds into my life to do what we need to do. I call the people into my life. I'm thankful for this new town that I'm living in because I'm going to start doing things out here locally. I'm going to get out in these streets. You know I will. Start having groups. I'm going to start having events. I couldn't do that an hour and a half away in one truck stop, Bumpkin Town, Texas. God bless it. It was a beautiful place. But like, I couldn't do any of that. And now I have all of these new doors that are open for me. So it's about what you focus on, right? I guess old adages ring true. Is the half glass empty or is it half full? Well, my glass is all the way full. My cup runneth over and today I'm grateful. So let me ask you, my friend, my subscriber, what are you grateful for? Even if it's really hard right now and I get it, even if it's painful in areas of your life or there are things that might not be working out that you really, really need to get a breakthrough in or some refreshing, like even though that's happening, what are the things that you can be grateful for? How can you maybe change the way you look at something to get a little more happy about it or a little more playful about it or curious about, wow, what kind of cool things could I do to switch this up and make this better and make this beautiful and make this fun and make this loving again? What can I do? What are these areas that you can be grateful for? Just take a moment right now and focus on that. As I sit out here in this gazebo, this beautiful spring Texas morning, I just want spirit. I want spirit to come in and just fill us today. Give us the perspective of the divine that we are. Let us see life as it truly is, which is beautiful. Let us see these challenges and ob obstacles as not perpetual blockages, but rather possibilities and opportunities to prove our strength and our power and our willingness to do. Spirit, on this day, we say thank you for all of the good things, for all good things come from God. And God dwells within us. And the good things come from us. And so we us need to spend more time being grateful, saying thank you, stopping and acknowledging those birds, the sunshine, this gazebo, the people in our lives, our health, our babies, our parents, those who have passed who we love. Thank you, God. Thank you. We are so grateful. And in being grateful, we welcome additional conditions and experiences to enter our life for which we can be grateful. Thank you. We receive that. We receive that. Thank you, Spirit. Amen. I'm going to leave that with you on this day. My heart ball to your heart ball. They're linking up. I feel like we have a connection here. I'm loving it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And also, if you would, share my videos around the planet. Let's do this. Come on, share the videos. Let's grow the community. Let's grow the awareness. Let's start talking about the things we need to talk about in order to change this world. Because if we don't do it, who will? It's us. It's me. It's you. So let's do it together. I love each and every one of you. And I hope that wherever you are on the planet today, you are having an equally as beautiful day. Bye, guys. Thank you.